those of us that do want electric vehicles, the almost do-it-yourself conversion of an, a car that one already has is a viable strategy. Yeah, you know, you can do conversions. Usually they say for motors and batteries and all that stuff, it's usually 5000 plus. That's kind of like baseline $5,000, but it really depends on how fast and how far you want to go. And there are places that sell kits for you to do it. I mean, you'll have to make your battery boxes and stuff, so it'll take some work on your part, but it is something that's doable, definitely. This vehicle, it's difficult not to make it do wheelies. It's set up strictly for racing. It's not very good to drive on the regular road. We've got batteries here in the front. There's also a bunch in the rear. So this is the main battery box here. This is where the engine used to be. We took it out. This is four batteries, makes 48 volts. And we've got three strings here in the front. We just got some new lithium batteries that we might put into this to try it out. They weigh about half as much as lead of equivalent capacity. So it reduces weight, gives them longer distance. And so that could help electric catch up to, to gasoline vehicles because it'll give them that range that they need. So this is like the brains of the whole thing. We've got both of our motors back here, dual DC motors that are directly chained to the two rear tires. So this is the Zilla controller. It takes input from your foot being on the throttle pedal and uses that to determine how much energy to feed to these motors it's back here. It can send up to 2,000 amps of current. Almost 30 kilowatt at 144 volt. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. It. sounds like a $3,000 controller. What um, kind of horsepower we got? These are 11 inch DC motors. They're about 20 horsepower each. The thing is, it's hard to judge electric horsepower versus gas horsepower because gas are rated in peak and electric are rated in continuous. So to kind of get an idea, 80 to 120 horsepower possibly. So the power to weight ratio, which is what gives you performance in a high performance vehicle, is, per is substantial in a vehicle like yeah, this. Yeah, um, that's another cool thing about electric is it produces maximum torque at zero RPM, whereas a gasoline engine, it's usually more like 3000 RPM. So this gives you the most power it can right off the line, which really lets you accelerate faster than a lot of other things. <laughs> It'll throw you back pretty good then. Same as your back pops the wheels off the ground. <laughs> and, and top speed, most people be happy with. 45 to 60 yeah, miles yeah. An hour. Those kind of speeds, especially the 45 range, is pretty easy to do in a conversion. Once you start getting up to freeway speeds, it's more difficult because it takes a lot more draw from these batteries. And 45 miles an hour, that, that meets the needs of most countries. And mm -hmm. uh, if we had expectations in, in that range too, it, it would be fine. Yeah, you know, you can use, you know, gasoline vehicle for those longer trips. But most of your driving is going to be done in town. And so why not use something that's cheap and uh, better for the environment? No transmission in this. This is a direct drive. Yeah. Right. This is direct drive. You can get adapters that'll bolt the motor right onto your old transmission so that you have gear selection, which actually will improve the efficiency of your vehicle. None of the major manufacturers are planning on turning out an all-electric car anytime soon. Mm -hmm. And even if when they do, companies like Phoenix or Tesla, mm -hmm. they're only going to be turning out 300 cars a year. That's not going to even touch the demand market. Right. So there will always be something for conversions. <laughs> yeah, until those companies start really bumping up production and make it affordable for people, that's another big thing is they're so expensive right now because they just aren't producing the numbers they need to bring the cost down for them. And people already have their capital investment in vehicle that maybe they can't afford to run it at four dollar gallon gasoline mm -hmm. for these trips to town that may only be seven to twenty miles range round trip right yeah